Hello together and welcome to a new video by Ingenieru. This is the second part of the mass measurement tutorial. In the first part I have shown you how to measure the mass and count the particle in a specific volume by using a corresponding region. This command is extremely useful for example for checking capacity of custom applications. In this second part I want to show you how to measure the mass and the particle flow rate as well as the total mass that has passed a certain place of your geometry. We will use the same geometry like before. To analyze the flow rate of the bulk material stream inside the pipe we will add a mesh. This mesh corresponds to the cross sectional area of the pipe and can be loaded from a STL file like the geometry parts of the simulation. The advantage of this method is that you don't have to define a region, which can be challenging in more complex cases. Furthermore, you get additional information of the total mass and particles passed and the actual flow rates. Ok, let's take a look to the new commands. By the first command we load the STL file like a normal mesh. In contrast to the geometries in contact with our particles, this mesh is not allowed to be activated in the wall command. By the next fixed command, measurement, we activate the measurement of the mass using the loaded mesh that we have named measure mesh before. The additional command vex side defines the direction of the outer side of the measurement. This is usually the flowing direction of the particles. To access the data of the fixed measurement, we must define variables where we want to save the data. In the first variable mass total we want to save the total mass that have passed our measure mesh. This data is calculated and saved in the first field of the fixed measurement. To access this field we have to use f underline measurement bracket open one bracket close. We repeat this procedure to save the total number of particles from field 2, the mass flow rate from field 3 and the particle rate from field 4. To save the data to a CSV file we have to use an output command like in the first part. We name the fixed output and want to print the data every output steps into the CSV file named pipe measurements. In the quote marks we write the variables we want to save to the CSV file, whereby the single variables are separated by a comma. Ok, let's take a look to the light script. In the first part I explained the general script structure again. So here we will jump direct to the implementation of the measurement by mesh. The first fixed command measure mesh loads the SDL file named measure phase. The fixed measure pipe activates the measurement using the measure mesh as mesh. Next we define the variables to save the data from the fixed measure pipe like shown before. The fix output 2 will print the variable in quote marks every output steps to the file pipemeasurements.csv. The title quote marks will be our headline of the CSV table. After all commands for the measurement using a mesh has been defined, we add our commands for running the simulation from the first part of the tutorial. To show the data we open a new view as line chart and activate our data from the CSV file pipe measurement. Here we can already see the four graphs for total mass, total particle number, mass flow rate and particle flow rate. Because the values are in different ranges we split the line view three times more and activate each graph separately to one diagram. In the last step we change the names of the axes of each diagram to the corresponding values like mass and time. Now our post processing is finished and we can run the video. If you like this video press the like button, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe.